We head for Ethiopia to Addis Ababa for this first report, a fairy tale story of a shoeshine boy. It was Tenkir Tenny's job more than 30 years ago before he ventured into gastronomy. Today he runs Totat, a $4 million traditional restaurant with over 200 employees. Our correspondent in Ethiopia, Tefera Gedamu, followed his story. Take a look. Here it is, robust, big, recognizable, a must-go eatery for people with money seeking quality traditional Ethiopian food. My customers are largely expatriates, tourists, the Ethiopian diaspora and others. But primarily, they are tourists. But Tankerteni has come a long way. He was on track with a totally different idea. This is where it all started. This is where I started as a shoeshine boy. And that was 33 years ago. I'm telling him that the trick lies not in the amount you earn, but in the ability to save from whatever little income you earn. Born in a village 150 kilometers from the capital Addis Ababa, Tanker comes from the Guragi community, known for starting at the very bottom. They start as shoe shines or helpers in a restaurant. These are naturally intelligent people who can see the way forward and have vision in terms of what business they want to create. Only three months into shoe shining, Tanker started supplementing his income by selling consumables like cigarettes, chewing gum, and more. Eight years later, a consultation with his growing number of clients burst another business idea that was to define him in the years ahead. They used to send me to get them food from several small restaurants in the neighborhood. That is when I consulted them about opening mine. When I started it here, it was built with corrugated iron sheets on a space of just 12 square meters in a capital of 6,000 beer, 111 US dollars. Lots of hard work, followed by saving, prompted this young entrepreneur to upgrade his restaurant. And as coincidence would have it, that happened to be at the time Ethiopia found itself in a marked economic turnaround. In the past 20 years, the economy has been growing. Financial Times, normally a very conservative newspaper, uh, in 2020 wrote saying that the fastest economy in the world has been for the decade 2010-2020 Ethiopia. So that means there is a lot of fallout from this economic growth for startups to grow very fast. His new restaurant, Totot's Ethiopian clientele, was thus to absorb the offers of a much more expensive food outlet. Over the years, the clients became even more diverse. We have a diverse local and international menu. We prepare food from all corners of Ethiopia. We showcase the cultures of all Ethiopians. And our expatriate customers are stunned. It is a center where various important people come to be entertained. And one of them happens to be the blockbuster Rush Hour star, Jackie Chan. Like all the others, I opened Totat to make money. But it has become a means for introducing Ethiopian culture, our identity, to the rest of the world. I unintentionally fell into it, but it has become an invaluable cultural institution with big benefits to the country. The music was really good. Uh, I thought that uh, the dancing was really fun, and uh, I like um, all the different regional dances. It's quite different from the dancing we do at home, but it was fun, and uh, I think it's a beautiful dance. And it's become part of the uh, standard, we could say, tourist package, that when clients, particularly when uh, on their last night, there'll be a farewell dinner, they'll be able to see singing and dancing from different regions. Generally, they all enjoy it. The sector has now become a significant player in the Ethiopian economy. Now we have more than 400 hotels, more than 6,000 restaurants and cafes in Addis Ababa only. The service sector has grown very fast. It has taken over the agricultural sector. Indeed, Totot claims a slice of that growth. It took off with only 36 employees and has since made a significant leap in the last 15 years. I now have 202 employees here, and they have their own families. They have a steady job. 
Having created an institution that's worth over 4 million US dollars, he's even aiming higher. Tatat is now a brand name, and I would like to see big African as well as other investors and companies to join me. I have just finalized a project to establish a small Ethiopia. The design of an institution that would showcase the preparation of Ethiopian food and beverages, craftsmanship and cultural outfits is now ready. And it's called the Pan-African Village Ethiopian Restaurant Tuta. In our country, now beyond restaurant businesses, a lot of drugs to rich people are available in this nation. And we see them coming up every year. But the problem is the regulatory environment and government policy. And the government seems to have realized that, particularly after the industry was hit hard by COVID-19 and the war that followed in the Tigray region.